Welcome to the Harrison Global Microsoft Dynamics CRM demo series. I am Callum Marshall, Solution Architect at Harrison Global, and I will be your guide to Microsoft Dynamics CRM during this presentation. This is part three of the series. In this segment, the purchase process from code to order to invoice will be presented. Please note that products price lists have already been configured. So we'll start with our new opportunity and we'll move it forward to create a quote. So our customer would like 10 professional licenses. Autofill helps us find what we're looking for very easily. We want to make sure the topic is uh, descriptive as it will carry through all the way to the order. After we've put in our opportunity details, we will scroll down, select the price list, and add products. Click on plus, select existing product. We can add write in products if the product does not already exist. We're looking for professional licenses. We like 10 of them. Once our products have been entered, we can generate a quote. We will scroll down a little bit further. Click on the plus sign to the right side of quotes. And here is our quote. We want to make sure that we have the right address information in our quote. We note that the products that we set up in our opportunity have been transferred to our quote. Once it looks good, we like the numbers that we can see. Then we will activate our quote. Do this by clicking activate quote. We'll notice that its status changed from draft status to active status. Once the quote is in this case, you can print a quote for customer. It will use a Word document, template, and mail merge to create that quote for you to send to your customer in whatever way uh, works best. Um, we can also revise our quote. So say our customer would like to actually order 12 licenses. And because they're ordering over 10, they're going to get our 5% discount. So I'll make that a 5. Press enter. And when we save our changes, we will see that the discount has been applied. So let's reactivate our quote again. You'll see the fields are locked. You cannot change them. Our customer is happy with this quote, so we're going to create an order and move it forward in the process. So we click on Create Order. This will create the order. It allows us to close our opportunity. We'll let that calculate it on its own, and then we'll go ahead. Once we send out uh, the product to the customer, depending on how we fulfill it, we can mark the order fulfilled. Finally, we can create an invoice in order to bill our customer. So we have the option here to go in and run a report, which will then generate an invoice report that allows us to print it, print it to PDF, or email it to our customer. Once our customer pays us, we mark the invoice paid. And now, our sale is complete. Once it's paid, it cannot be edited anymore. This concludes the
product purchase installment of our Microsoft Dynamics CRM demo series. Thank you for watching. I hope it provided you some helpful information. We at Harrison Global are dedicated to helping you get the most out of your CRM solution. So please reach out to us with your questions. Our contact details can be found in the information section of this video. Have a great day.